Is Zach Lopez on steroids? <laughs> oh man. Isn't that a question a lot of you guys want to know? Okay, so this is something that I don't really do a whole lot. In fact, I never really do. And I wanted to talk about something, a topic, as you can probably tell, is steroids. Now, I just want to talk. It's just something I've been thinking about in my head the past couple of weeks. And um, I expect to get hate from it. I expect to get likes from it. It doesn't really matter. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the subject of steroids. And what are steroids? Well, basically, it's something that it is a drug that you take that enhances your physique quickly a lot quicker than someone who were natural now why would the average person want to take steroids now let me go by saying this whatever gym you go to wherever you go to whether it's conventional gym like LA Fitness or if it's a hardcore gym like Metroflex there's always gonna be someone or more than one person, in fact, there is gonna be more than one person that takes steroids. Now, why, why do people take steroids? Why are so many people attracted to taking steroids? Now, it's, it's simple. People wanna get big and they wanna get big quick. People who take steroids, there, there are different types of people who take steroids and there's, there's a type of people who take steroids because it's their job, right? They're a professional bodybuilder, they're Phil Heath, they're four-time Mr. Olympia, and they're, you know, they're massive bodybuilders, and that's their job. That's, that's what they do. They make a substantial amount of income, they support their family, you know, whatever, whatever it takes. You're a professional, you're on the magazines, you name it, that's their job. I, it's understandable, it's, it, they have to do it. And then, there are, those, there are those people who take steroids because they want to look good. It's because they want to look good in the mirror. They want to look good for themselves. They want to look good for the women, for the girls, to go to the beach because they want to look big, right? They want to be the biggest guy and lift the most weight they can because so the, the way they do it, they just think, I want to take steroids. Now, don't be that guy. <laughs> Do not be that guy. If you're taking steroids for that reason, for all those reasons I just listed, oh, I just, yeah, because it's never good enough, right? When you take, when you, because you look in the mirror, you're like, man, I'm not big enough, man. My chest is not big enough. My arms are too small. You know what? Fuck this, man. I'm gonna hop on steroids. And some people, they get so caught up when they, when they take steroids, they, they they get so caught up in competing. They enter their first show, right? And they're like, oh man, yeah, I like this. They enter their first show and then. Just like that, it's over. They get they 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 get brainwashed into competing. They all they want to do compete, compete, compete. I'm oh I'm six weeks out, twelve weeks out, and all they're thinking about is competing and competing, taking more and more and more drugs. It becomes insane. That's one of the reasons why I don't compete. It's because I don't want to be sucked into that lifestyle. I do it because I enjoy to do it. And for me myself, Zach Lopez. I can 100% say that I've been a drug-free athlete my whole entire life. Never messed with a pro hormone. I've never touched an injectable. I've never held it in my hands or seen it in person, for that matter. Now, whether or not you can you can believe me, you can, you you can't believe me. You can say it full of shit. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, I'm gonna say what's true. There are a lot of people who claim natural, and obviously they're taking stuff under the table. Now, you, you can't really believe who's natural or not, so take my word if you want to, but I'm just saying I've never taken a drug in my whole entire life. Now, why would someone want to take steroids? Well, I, it happens in the early stages of lifting most of the times. Now, if you're a beginner, you've been, listen, you've been lifting for at least two years, there's always been something in your head that thinks, hmm, do I want to take steroids? Like you've got friends that are big, right? You've got friends that are already lifting, who, who are on gear, right? And those are the guys that you hang out with. And you're thinking to yourself, man, I want to, fuck man. I'm tired of being fucking skinny, right? That's what you're thinking. I'm tired of being skinny. And then you think, you know what? I want to get big. 
and I want it now. So I want to take steroids, right? So they go to their buddy, right, who's on gear, like, hey man, what do you, what do you suggest? And then you just say, fuck it. You hop on it because one, you don't have the patience. As a natural athlete, you have to understand patience. Gains come very slow. This whole lifestyle, this fitness lifestyle, it's a marathon, guys. This thing is not a sprint. Things don't happen. Growth doesn't happen overnight. You gotta be patient. And don't be that guy to always point the finger. Don't be that guy to say, oh yeah, he's on drugs. Oh, he's taking steroids. Look at him. He, he has way too many striations. Don't be that guy. Why are you accusing someone else of taking drugs to justify your own lack of success, guys? What's the point of that? You're only, you're only, you're putting yourself down. You're understand discipline and understand people train hard. And yeah, genetics do play a role, but if you guys think like that, if you guys thinking, oh, my genetics will only take me so far, then you will only get that far, guys. Don't think like that. Overcome your genetic barrier. You, you can, you think about it. If you think about your, you're stuck at your genetic level and you're never gonna grow, well guys, you're shit out of luck because you never will. Overcome that. You mentally have to be strong. I mean, you don't, building a natural physique, building a physique without taking drugs takes years, guys. It doesn't happen. And by years, I don't mean two or three. By years, I mean five, 10, 15 years of consistency, hard work, days in and out of the gym, being smart, training smart as a natural. That shit doesn't happen in two to three years. Guys, like I said, you have to understand the definition of patience. It, it, it takes 5, 10, 15 years to build a good physique. Not just two or three. You have to know. You have to learn. Guys, I'm telling you. A good natural physique can be achieved. You don't need drugs. You don't, you don't need all, all, the, all these pro-hormones and injectables. You don't need that shit, guys. Keep that shit out of your body. Why would you want to do that? Like I said, those professionals and, and, and whatnot, they take drugs because it's their job. And, you know, people can, can argue all day long, the people who take care that there's a safe way to take steroids. But I mean, at the end of the day, why would you want to? And at the end of the day, it's your own personal decision. You know, if you want to take steroids, go ahead. But if you're going to take it, one man up to it. Don't fucking lie and say that you're natural and you're taking shit because no one likes that guy. And two, if you're gonna take steroids, have fucking purpose. Now, if you wanna, if you wanna take steroids and, and you wanna, you, you're gonna quit your day job and you wanna become a physique pro, right? You, you, quit, you quit everything. You wanna be a physique pro, you train and train and train and you take all the gear you can and you wanna be that guy that, 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 that's on the Mr. Olympia stage, you wanna make money from that, then go for it, absolutely go for it. But if you're gonna take it, man, don't lie. And I and guys, I encourage you, if you guys are watching my channel, everyone's thought about taking steroids at least once in their life. I'm I'm guilty of, of thinking about taking steroids all the time. I think about it, I'm like, man, I would look freaking crazy if I took steroids. There are people watching this video and be like, this guy's all, all full of shit. He's, like, he's on steroids, so I don't know why he's talking about it. Believe what you want, guys. But you thought about taking steroids at least once, but guys, I encourage you not to take steroids. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the learning curve. Enjoy your mistakes. That, that's the whole, that's the beauty of this fitness slash bodybuilding lifestyle. Don't make fitness revolve on, around your life. Now, I, as I've gotten older, I've come to realization that fitness isn't everything. You know, you gotta make money. You have to think about your family in the future. Or, or, I, yeah, it's weird for me even saying this because I never thought I'd be saying this. Because because when I was in 18, 19, 20, I'm like, oh, fitness, fitness, fitness. But as I'm getting older, I'm 25 now, and I'm thinking about the long, the long run, the long haul, you know, my future. And guys, I, I encourage you if you're thinking about taking steroids, and you, the reason why you the reason why you want to take steroids is because you know I want to compete, I want to compete, I want to I want to get big, man. I, I'm I'm tired of waiting. I want to get big quick. Guys, what do you want to compete for in your local state show to win a 20 cent trophy? Is that really worth it? Think about it. Why would you want to do that? 
I'd rather spend my money on car stuff. I'd rather spend my money on car parts or, or affording a, a better car or a better apartment or whatever it may be. I'd rather spend my money on that stuff. Not fucking steroids, man. Guys, I, I'm sorry this, this whole, I'm getting a little heated throughout this. There's, uh, there's a lot of you young people watching my videos, like teenagers, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, within those areas, or even up to 21, you know? If you're thinking about hopping on some gear because you're not big enough yet, or because you're not where you wanna be. And when you when you join the fitness lifestyle, you're never gonna be where you wanna be. You always wanna be bigger. It's it's never ending. It's, it's a vicious cycle. But guys, I encourage you, just, just stay natural as long as you can. And um, you gotta enjoy the process. Fall in love with the process. That's how, that's, 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 that's the whole, that's the whole lifestyle. You gotta fall in love with the lifestyle and you have to be patient. Patience, guys. You have to know how to be patient. Know that the gains will come, the muscle will come later. But you gotta be patient, guys. Trust me, time flies by, years will go by. And then you'll be getting compliments like, oh man. And every time I get a compliment that I'm on gear, or every, or no, I'm sorry, every time I get someone saying that I'm on steroids, that's a compliment to me because I've never touched a fucking steroid in my life. So every, one, every time I hear someone say, oh, that dude's, that dude's taking stuff, that dude's on steroids, I take that as a compliment because I've never touched a if I'm If I look to where I look like I, can, I take steroids, you better believe that's a compliment. So guys, I encourage you, stay natural and, and fall in love. Fall in love with, with being patient and enjoy the process. That's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Different kind of video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.